Hello everyone, and welcome to Cardinal 75. My name is Tim Liggett, and I am proud to be the principal at Whittier High School. I'm coming to you today from the beautiful Vic Lopez Auditorium. Now in a normal year, we would be celebrating all of our Cardinal 75 award winners with their families right here in the auditorium. But unfortunately, this is not a normal year, and we are still not permitted to have large indoor gatherings on campus. Cardinal 75 is our annual celebration of our highest achieving students in each grade level, and we still want to provide those students with the recognition that they deserve. We asked our students to submit some information and some pictures to help put this video together, and I really want to thank all of the students who participated. Speaking of thanks, I would be remiss if I did not thank the Whittier High School PTSA. The PTSA sponsors this event each year in addition to all of the other wonderful things they do for our students. They are truly a dedicated group of parents, students, and staff members, and I am very thankful for everything they do for us. And special thanks to this year's PTSA president, Veronica Marin. Cardinal 75 is a long-standing Whittier High School tradition. Historically, Whittier High would honor 75 students at this event, the top 25 seniors, 20 juniors, 20 sophomores, and 10 freshmen, based on their cumulative GPAs through the first semester. About 13 years ago, however, Whittier High School was experiencing an increase in enrollment, coupled with increased academic achievement. And we found ourselves with more than just 10 freshmen with straight A's in their first semester. This, of course, was a good problem to have, but it was still an issue that needed addressing. Since it didn't seem reasonable to increase the number of freshmen without also increasing the numbers in the other grade levels, the decision was made to change from a fixed number in each grade to using GPA cutoffs instead. Now, even though our enrollment has been up and down over the past decade, the academic achievement of our students continues to increase. And as such, the number of students honored at Cardinal 75 has steadily grown over the years to the point where we have 294 Cardinal 75 recipients this year, which is a school record. A huge congratulations to the classes of 2021, 2022, 2023, and 2024 for setting this record during a pandemic when everything seems to be more difficult and not less. So let's get to it. We will begin with our ninth graders from the class of 2024 who had to earn a 4.0 GPA or higher during the first semester of this year to make Cardinal 75. We have 82 ninth graders who made Cardinal 75 and it is my pleasure to introduce them to you. To get to know our ninth grade honorees a little bit better, we asked them all three questions. Who is their favorite staff member? What is a possible future career for them? And what are they most looking forward to when school finally returns to normal? Here is our first honoree, Logan Barron. Logan's favorite staff member is Ms. Kinsel. He's not sure about a possible career yet, and he's looking forward to seeing the campus next year. Next up is Janessa Canales. Janessa's favorite staff members are Mr. Schneider and Mrs. Medina. She's looking forward to a possible career in law. And next year, she is looking forward to being on campus with friends. Next up, Chloe Carancho. Chloe's favorite staff member is also Mrs. Medina. She is also interested in a possible career in law. And she is most looking forward next year to some cheer events. Next, Alonso Cienfuegos. His favorite staff member is Mr. Swanson. He's interested in going into the medical field. And he is most looking forward to normal school activities. Next up, Melissa Cuevas. Melissa's favorite staff member is Ms. King. She is interested in a career in engineering, and she's looking forward to being with friends. Next is Lissandro Del Toro. Lissandro's favorite staff member is Mrs. Hernandez. He is interested in a career in engineering, and he's looking forward to being able to be hands-on in his classes. Next, Johnny Enciso. Johnny's favorite staff member is Mrs. Fryho. He is interested in a career in engineering, and he's looking forward to being able to be with friends on campus. Next is Kylie Espinosa. Kylie's favorite staff member is Mr. Lesbron. She's looking forward to a career in law enforcement, and she would like to be able to meet her teachers in person. Next is Cynthia Flores. 
Cynthia's favorite staff member is Mrs. Ellis. She's looking into getting into the business world, and she's also looking forward to being with her friends on campus. Our next honoree is Naomi Flores. Naomi's favorite staff member is Mr. Lesbron. She would like to be an orthodontist. And like other students so far, she is looking forward to being on campus with her friends. Next up is Jasmine Gaeta. Jasmine's favorite staff member is Ms. Torbett. She's looking forward to a career in the arts. And next year, she would like to be able to meet her teachers in person. Next up is Danica Gallegos. Her favorite staff member is Mr. Carruth. She would like to be a neurologist, and she's looking forward to being able to see the campus in person. Next up is Isabel Garcia. Isabel's favorite staff member is Mr. Hope. She's looking forward to potentially being a doctor and really just wants to get the full high school experience next year. Next is Annabelle Gastello. Annabelle's favorite staff member is Mr. Swanson. She's looking forward to a possible career in science and she's looking forward to being with her friends on campus. Next is Victor Gomez Zepeda. Victor's favorite staff member is Mrs. Hernandez. He's interested in a career in fire prevention and is looking forward to meeting his teachers in person. Next is Olivia Guerra. Her favorite staff member is Mrs. Huddy Asenboom. Her possible career for her would be interior design and she's looking forward to seeing school assemblies. Next up is Emma Guerra. Emma's favorite staff member is Mrs. Nisbet. She's not sure about a career yet, uh, but she's definitely looking forward to being with friends on campus next year. Next, Fabian Guerrero. His favorite staff member is the entire team that he works with, which is awesome. He's looking forward to a career in law, and next year will enjoy being with friends on campus. Next up, Abony Gutierrez. Abony's favorite staff member is Mr. Fay. She'd like to get into physical therapy uh, when she gets through with her education, and next year she's looking forward to making new friends on campus. Next is Emily Guzman. Her favorite staff member is Mrs. Medina. She would like to get into engineering, and she's really looking forward to seeing the campus. Next up, Emma Hartle. Emma's favorite staff member is Mr. Swanson. She's looking forward to a career in the arts, and next year will enjoy being with friends on campus. Next up is Ernesto Hernandez. Ernesto's favorite staff members are Ms. Kinsel and Ms. Kaufman. He'd like to get into a career in nursing and is also looking forward to being with friends on campus. Next up is Christopher Hernandez. Again, he appreciates the whole team that he works with. He would like to be a teacher once he finishes his education and is look for, looking forward to making new friends. Next up, Lydia Ibanez. Lydia's favorite staff member is Mrs. Ellis. She would like to get into pediatrics, and next year she's really looking forward to school activities. Next up, Emma Linares. Emma's favorite staff member is Mrs. Torbett. She's interested in a career in astronomy, and she's looking forward to being back with friends on campus next year. Next up, Malie Yamas. Her favorite staff member is Mr. Hope. She's looking forward to a career as a writer, and she's also looking forward to seeing the campus in person. Next up, Savannah Lamelli. Savannah's favorite staff member is Mrs. Green. Savannah's interested in going into the medical field, and really next year, she just wants to be able to enjoy high school in person. Next up, Michael Lopez. Michael's favorite staff member is Mr. Swanson. He is interested in a career in the medical field, and he is most looking forward to being with friends in person. Next up, Yolanda Mares. Yolanda's favorite staff member, she has two, Mr. Liu and Mrs. Fryho. She's interested in a possible career in computer science and is ultimately looking forward to making new friends on campus next year. Next up is Chloe Marin. Chloe's favorite staff member is Mr. Lesbron. She's interested in getting into the culinary arts and next year is looking forward to meeting her teachers in person. Next is Isabel Marin. Isabel's favorite staff member is Mr. Rodriguez. She would like to get into a career in writing, and she's looking forward to seeing the campus in person for herself. Next up, Juliana Martinez. Juliana's favorite staff member is Ms. Schaubetter. She's interested in a career in computer science, 
and next year just wants to start making memories on campus. Next up is Yvette Martinez. Yvette's favorite staff member is Mr. Robinson. Yvette is looking forward to a career in forensics and next year is looking forward to being with friends on campus. Next up is Ashlyn Mears. Ashlyn's favorite staff member is Mr. Loof. She's not sure about a possible career yet, but she's definitely looking forward to being with her friends on campus next year. Next up is Snow Mendoza. Snow's favorite staff member is Mr. Oliver. He is looking forward to a possible career in graphic design and looking forward to being with friends. Next up is Susanna Mijares. Susanna's favorite staff member, she's got a couple, Mr. Lou and Mr. Oliver. She's looking forward to a career in engineering and being with her friends in person on campus next year. Next up is Violet Mirabueno. Violet couldn't pick just one staff member. Violet is interested in a career in the arts and Violet is looking forward to being on campus with her friends in person next year. Next up is Diana Wynn. Diana, again, can't pick just one favorite staff member. Um, she's not sure about a possible career yet, but she's definitely sure about wanting to be back on campus with her friends next year. Next up is Caleb Olguin. Caleb's favorite staff member is Mrs. Salcedo. He's interested in a career in retail and is looking forward to seeing the campus in person next year. Next up, Kayla Padilla. Her favorite staff member is Mrs. Medina. She's interested in a career in the medical field, and she's really looking forward to meeting her teachers in person on campus next year. Next up is Geraldine Payan. Geraldine's favorite staff member is also Mrs. Medina. She is interested in a career in business, and she's looking forward to being back with her friends in school in person next year. Next is Emily Perez. Emily has two favorite staff members, Mr. Mundo and Ms. Burnell. She'd like to be a sign language interpreter, and she's also looking forward to some school activities next year. Next is Ethan Prado. Ethan's favorite staff member is Mr. Johnson. He's looking forward to a career in ophthalmology and is looking forward to being able to make new friends on campus next year. Next up is Fabiola Ramirez. Fabiola can't pick just one staff member, nor is she sure about a, follow a possible career, but she is definitely looking forward to getting great grades on campus next year. Next is Jacob Rocha. Jacob's favorite staff member is Mrs. Ellis. Jacob's uh, looking forward to a potential career in business, and Jacob wants to be able to see the campus in person next year. Next up, Aaliyah Rodriguez. Aaliyah's favorite staff member is Mr. Lozano. She is looking forward to a possible career in law and is anticipating some exciting school activities next year. Next is Jessica Serrano. Her favorite staff member, uh, she's got two, Mrs. Nisbet and Mr. Lesbron. She is looking forward to a possible career as a therapist and next year would enjoy being able to meet her teachers in person. Next up, Nathan Schauber. Nathan's favorite teacher is Ms. Kinstall. He's not sure about a possible career yet and he hasn't gotten a chance to see our campus yet, so he's not entirely sure what he's looking forward to seeing on campus, but Nathan, we're looking forward to having you be back here next year. Next up is Mohammed Shahada. Mohammed had three favorite staff members, Mr. Klein, Mr. Mesa, and Mrs. Nisbet. He's looking forward to a possible career in law enforcement and is really excited about being with his friends on campus next year. Next is Vincent Stolo. Vincent's favorite staff member is Mrs. Hernandez. He's looking forward to a career in the medical field, and next year will very much enjoy being with his friends on campus. Next up is Abraham Vargas. His favorite staff member is Ms. Higley. He's not sure about a possible career yet, but next year he's really looking forward to just being able to be outdoors. Next up is Matthew Vasquez. Matthew's favorite staff member is Mr. Klein. He's looking forward to a career in law enforcement and is most looking forward next year to being with his friends in person. Next is Mason Vigil. Mason's favorite staff member so far is Mrs. Ellis. She's looking forward to a possible career in fashion and is excited about being back on campus with her friends in person next year. Next, we have Giselle Villa. Giselle's favorite staff member is Mrs. Coette. 
She is looking forward to a career in the medical field, and next year is anticipating some exciting school activities. Next up is Azariah Williams. Azariah's favorite staff member is Mr. Rodriguez. She's looking forward to a career as a veterinarian and is looking forward to being back on campus with her friends next year. Now we had uh, some other Cardinal 75 winners from our freshman class who weren't able to submit pictures for the video, but we wanted to make sure that they got recognized anyway. Their names are Jose Alarcon, Quentin Chaidez, Reese Cordova, Xander Cruz, Jacob Cuevas, Lizette Garcia, Baron Lepegian, Guadalupe Leal, Adrian Lozano, Gustavo Machado, Ivan Mendoza, Brian Ordaz, Anissa Ornelas, Adrian Ramirez, Cody Ramirez, Sasha Reyna, Santiago Rivera Castaneda, Rip Rocha, Isabella Rojas, Amy Rojo, Alyssa Santos, Priscilla Silva, Bella Soto, Marco Torres, Aaron Vargas, Desiree Vargas, Brianna Vivas, and Isaiah Wright. Congratulations again to all of our amazing ninth grade students. I hope you all keep up the great work and I can't wait to see what you'll accomplish over the next three years here at Whittier High School. With that, it is time to move on to our sophomores in the class of 2023. A total of 67 10th graders qualified for Cardinal 75 this year. All of our sophomore recipients have earned a cumulative 3.9 GPA over their first three semesters of high school. So let's meet the Cardinal 75 award winners from the class of 2023. So just like we did with our ninth graders, we asked our 10th grade honorees the same three questions. Who is their favorite staff member? What is a possible future career for them? And what are they most looking forward to when school finally returns to normal? And we hope that will be next year. So here is our first honoree. Marianne Aranki. Marianne's favorite staff member is Mr. Loof. She is interested in a career in law. And next year, she is most looking forward to seeing her friends and her teachers on campus. Next is Kiara Barrias. Kiara's favorite staff member is Mrs. Fryho. She is interested in the medical field. And next year, she is most looking forward to club events. Next is Henry Benitez Jr. Henry has too many favorite staff members to choose just one. He's interested in a career in engineering, and he is looking forward to band competitions returning next year. Next is Emily Boyle. Again, Emily has too many favorite staff members to choose just one. Emily is interested in a career in the arts and is most looking forward to seeing her friends on campus. Our next honoree is Grace Cairos. Grace has too many favorite staff members to choose just one or two. Grace is looking forward to studying history and Grace is looking forward to seeing her friends back on campus in person next year. Next up is Sarah Castillo. Sarah has, again, too many favorite staff members to choose just a few. Isn't sure about a possible career yet, but is definitely looking forward to seeing her friends and her teachers back on campus next year. Next up is Astrid Cuevas. Again, Astrid, it's hard for her to pick just one staff member, uh, but she is looking forward to a career in engineering. Uh, she is definitely looking forward to seeing her friends back on campus next year. Next up is Yamina and Ciso. Yamina is favorite staff member is Miss Richmond. Uh, she is interested in a career in computer science and is looking forward to actually getting to know her teachers in person next year. Next is Daniela Flores. Daniela's favorite staff member is Mr. Loof. She is interested in a career in engineering and she is looking forward to both seeing her friends and playing sports next year. Sophia Flores. Sophia's favorite staff member is also Mr. Loof. She is looking forward to a career in fitness, and she is looking forward to seeing her friends back on campus in person next year. Elijah Fuentes. Elijah's favorite staff members are Ms. Herons, Mr. Saylor, and Mrs. Salcido. He is looking forward to a career in business, 
and is also looking forward to seeing his friends back on campus in person next year. Next is Mia Gildemontes. Mia's favorite staff member is Mr. Marilli. She is looking forward to a career as a surgeon and is also looking forward to seeing her friends back on campus in person next year. Next up is Christian Gomez. Christian's favorite staff member is Mr. Swanson. Christian is interested in a career in computer science and Christian is looking forward to seeing his friends back on campus next year. Our next honoree is Sabrina Guerrero. Sabrina's favorite staff member is Mr. Quattro. She is interested in a career in architecture and is also looking forward to seeing her friends back on campus next year. Next honoree is Trenton Gunderson. Trenton's favorite staff member is Mr. Bellanti. He's interested in a career in either engineering or mathematics and ultimately is most looking forward to experiencing a normal full year of high school next year. Next up is Juliana Jimenez. Juliana's favorite staff member is Ms. Sweeney. She is looking forward to a career in law enforcement and is excited next year to experience some pep rallies in person. Our next honoree is Salma Jimenez. Salma's favorite staff member is Mr. Tran. She is looking forward to a career in law and looking forward to the return in full of extracurricular activities next year. Next up, Samantha Jimenez. Samantha's favorite staff member is Mrs. Torbett. She is looking forward to a career in the arts. And next year, no surprise, looking forward to being back in hands-on art classes on campus. Next up, Emily Lopez. Emily's favorite staff member is Mr. Liu. She is interested in a career in the medical field and is really looking forward to the return of school events on campus. Next is Max Lukeen. Max's favorite staff member is Mr. Bellanti. Max is interested in potentially being a lawyer, and Max is looking forward to seeing his friends back on campus next year. Next up is Owen Miller. Owen's favorite staff member is Mr. Saylor. Owen is looking forward to a career where he can work with animals, and next year, Owen is looking forward to seeing his friends and his teachers in person. Next is Bobby Orozco. Bobby's favorite staff member is Mrs. Nisbet. He is looking forward to a career in science, and he's most looking forward to just being able to talk to people in person next year. Next up is Adam Pacheco. Adam's favorite staff member is Mr. Swanson. Adam is interested in a career in engineering, and Adam is looking forward to seeing his friends back on campus in person. Next up is Anna Payofsky. Anna's favorite staff member is Mrs. Lara. Anna is looking forward to a career in engineering. And on campus, Anna is looking forward to club and academy activities. Our next honoree is Kaya Reyes. Kaya's favorite staff member is Mr. Robinson. Kaya is interested in a career as a scientist. And Kaya is looking forward to seeing her friends on campus next year. Next is Benjamin Robles. Benjamin's favorite staff member is Mr. Swanson. Uh, Benjamin is interested in getting into a career in the STEM field and is really looking forward to seeing friends back on campus next year. Our next honoree is Angel Rodriguez. Angel's favorite staff member is Mr. Swanson. Angel's interested in a career in engineering and Angel is looking forward to seeing his friends back on campus next year. Next up is Juan Romero Martinez. Juan's favorite staff member is Mr. Loof. Juan is interested in a career in engineering, and Juan is looking forward to seeing his friends back on campus next year. Next is David Sanchez. David's favorite staff member is Mr. Swanson. David is interested in a career in computer science, and David is most looking forward to being able to see his friends and teachers back on campus next year. Next is Lily Sarkeesian. Lily's favorite teacher is Ms. Sweeney. Lily is interested in either architecture or graphic design as possible careers. And next year, Lily is looking forward to being able to see her friends as well as playing sports. Next up is Joanna Sosa. Joanna's favorite teacher is Mr. Loof. Joanna is looking forward to a potential career in education. And next year, Joanna is looking forward to being able to see her friends back on campus. Next up is Amaris Ultreras. Amaris's favorite staff member is Ms. Sweeney. She is interested in a career in environmental science, and next year she's looking forward to seeing her friends and joining clubs. Next, 
Hugo Vasquez. Hugo's favorite staff member is Mr. Ritchie. He is interested in a potential career in kinesiology, and next year Hugo is looking forward to seeing his friends back on campus. Next is Jaylene Venegas. Jaylene's favorite staff member is Mr. Lozano. Jaylene is interested in a career in law, and she is looking forward to some ASB events next year. Not all of our Cardinal 75 award winners from the 10th grade class were able to submit pictures for this video, but we still want to recognize them for their outstanding academic achievement. So congratulations goes to Jennifer Adame Ramos, Valeria Arnao, Destiny Benson, Nevea Sedano, Arissa Flores, Emily Flores, Emily Garcia, Ariel Gutierrez, Brianna Hernandez, Darren Kalan, Luis Leon Rodriguez, Kenneth Long, Megan Lopez, Victoria Lopez, Nathaniel Manjares, Sofia Martinez, Johnny Medina, Elijah Mena, Caitlin Milanis, Daniela Ocano, Paulina Palayo, Isaac Perez, Derek Ponce, Natalia Quero, Leilani Quinones, Isis Renderos, Marcus Rivera, Natalie Rodarte, Marilyn Rodriguez, Melody Rodriguez, Lorenzo Tejeda, Alejandra Torres, and Caitlin Vaca. Congratulations again to our sophomores. We are really proud of all of your hard work. It's now time to move on to our juniors from the class of 2022. We have 75 11th graders who have qualified for Cardinal 75 with cumulative GPAs of at least 3.8 over their first five semesters of high school. It is my great pleasure to introduce you to the Cardinal 75 winners from the class of 2022. So just as we did with our 9th and 10th graders, we asked our juniors the same three questions. Who is their favorite staff member? What is a possible future career for them? And what are they most looking forward to when school finally returns to normal? Here is our first honoree. Isabel Bautista. Isabel's favorite staff member is Mrs. Lara. She is interested in a career in nutrition, and she is most looking forward to seeing her friends in person next year. April Becerra. April's favorite staff member is Mrs. Lara. She's interested in a career in pediatrics, and she is most looking forward to seeing her friends in person next year. Frankie Bello. Frankie's favorite staff member is Mr. Lesbron. Frankie is interested in a career in engineering, and she is looking forward to seeing her friends in person on campus next year. Denise Castillo. Denise's favorite staff member is Mrs. Fryho. She is interested in a career in nursing, and she is most looking forward to seeing her friends in person next year. Peter Arthur Cruz. Peter's favorite staff member is Mrs. Galavis. He is interested in a career in either the arts or in animation, and he is most looking forward to in-person drama and art classes next year. Brian Diaz. Brian's favorite staff member is Mr. Swanson. He is interested in a career in engineering, and he is most looking forward to seeing his friends in person next year. Jacob Diaz. Jacob's favorite staff member is Mr. Swanson. He is interested in a career in computer science, and Jacob is most looking forward to seeing his friends in person next year. Zoe Espinal. Zoe's favorite staff member, she has two, Ms. Medina and Mr. Quattro. She is interested in engineering, and she is looking forward to seeing her friends in person next year. Ashley Gonzalez. Ashley's favorite staff member is Mr. Robinson. She is interested in a career in dance or as a talent manager and she is most looking forward to song team performances next year. Elise Gonzalez. Elise's favorite staff member is Mr. Lozano. She is interested in a career in marketing, and she is most looking forward to meeting her teachers in person next year. Luke Gonzalez. Luke's favorite staff member is Mrs. Lara. He's not sure yet about a possible career, but he is definitely looking forward to seeing his friends in person next year. Micah Hampton. Micah's favorite staff member is Mrs. Ellis. She is interested in either journalism or teaching, 
and she is looking forward to seeing her friends in person next year. Adriana Hernandez. Adriana's favorite staff member is Mr. Douay. She is interested in a possible career in nursing, and she is most looking forward to those fun in-class discussions next year. Nancy Hernandez. Nancy's favorite staff member is Mr. Liu. She is interested in a career in a STEM field, and next year she is looking forward to joining clubs. Maria Hidalgo. Maria's favorite staff member is Mrs. Nisbet. She is interested in a career in nursing, and she is looking forward to seeing her teachers in person next year. Aisha Jimenez. Aisha has a lot of favorite staff members, Mr. Robinson, Mr. Gotts, Mr. Belanti, and Mr. Myers. She's interested in multiple careers, such as being an electrician or perhaps animal caretaking, and she is most looking forward to seeing her teachers in person next year. Paloma Lopez. Paloma's favorite staff member is Mr. Brock. She's not sure yet about a possible career, but she is definitely looking forward to performing with the Carter Brigade and with the song team next year. Mary Lucinian. Mary's favorite staff member is Mr. Swanson. She is interested in a career in business, and she is most looking forward to seeing her friends in person next year. Emma Martinez. Emma's favorite staff member, she has two, Mrs. Arona and Mr. Belanti. She is interested in a career in the medical field, and she is most looking forward to seeing her friends in person next year. Gershwin Mason. Gershwin has two favorite staff members, Mrs. Crone and Mr. Swanson. Gershwin is looking forward to a career in engineering and is also looking forward to in-person school events next year. Alani Morales. Alani's favorite staff member is Mrs. Ellis. She's interested in a career as a physician and she is most looking forward to seeing friends and teachers in person next year. Bella Patlan. Bella's favorite staff member is Mr. Lozano. She's interested in a career in the medical field and she is really looking forward to school activities and cheer. Joaquin Perkins. Joaquin's favorite staff member is Mr. Myers. He's interested in being a professor and he is most looking forward to seeing his friends in person next year. Lexi Quayle. Lexi's favorite staff member is Mr. Swanson. She's interested in a career in film and she's most looking forward to seeing her friends and working on the stage crew. Mariana Ramirez. Mariana's favorite staff member is Mrs. Lara. She's interested in a career in forensics, and she is most looking forward to a return to in-school activities. Noah Reber. Noah's favorite staff member is Mrs. Hernandez. He is interested in a career in psychology, and he's really looking forward to just being around people next year. Sophia Reyna. Sophia's favorite staff member is Mrs. Crone. She is interested in a career in music, and she is most looking forward to seeing her friends, being involved in our theater productions, and working with the stage crew. Yamileth Rios. Yamileth's favorite staff member is Mr. Myers. She's interested in a career in pediatrics, and is most looking forward to seeing her friends and teachers in person. Next is Maya Rivera. Maya's favorite staff member is also Mr. Myers. She's interested in marine biology, and she is looking forward to school dances. Sofia Rodriguez. Sofia's favorite staff member is Mr. Quattro. She is interested in immunology, and she is most looking forward to seeing her friends in person. Caleb Rogers. Caleb's favorite staff member is Mr. Pittman. He is interested in going into the medical field, and he is most looking forward to seeing his friends in person next year. Samantha Silva. Samantha's favorite staff member is Mrs. Fryho. She is interested in biomedical engineering and she is looking forward to seeing her friends in person. Jason Smith. Jason has a favorite staff member of Mr. Swanson, is interested in a possible career of cinematography, and is really just looking forward to being in a class without having to wear a mask. Jeffrey Toribio. Jeffrey's favorite staff member, he's got three, Ms. Richmond, Mr. Robinson, and Mrs. Krikorian. He's interested in psychology and is most looking forward to seeing his friends in person. Emma Torres. Emma's favorite staff member is Mr. Robinson. She is interested in getting into fashion design and is most looking forward to seeing her friends in person next year. Allison Trujillo. Allison's favorite staff member is Mr. Pittman. 
She is interested in a career as an aquatic veterinarian, and she is most looking forward to seeing her friends in person next year. Teresa Velasco. Teresa's favorite staff member is Ms. Brunel. She's interested in a possible career of education, and she's looking forward to in-person performing arts and sports. Amaris Villalobos. Amaris's favorite staff member is Mr. Loof. She is interested in a career in law enforcement and is most looking forward to seeing her friends and her teachers in person next year. We did have some juniors who weren't able to submit pictures for the video, but we still want to make sure they get recognized as Cardinal 75 honorees. So congratulations go to Vincent Ansich, Zachariah Arseniega, Samuel Aviles, Rayleigh Barasa, Trinity Bishop, James Castillo, Leah Cornejo, Joanne Cosina, Stephen Kerfman, Noeli Diaz, Marlon Estrella Lopez, Cassandra Frere, Adrian Garcia, Jocelyn Garcia, Peyton Gomez, Leslie Gutierrez, Lizbeth Gutierrez, Samantha Gutierrez Morales, Jessica Hernandez, Louis Kingsley, Brianna Madrigal Ibarra, Andrea Martinez, Angel Martinez, Christian Medina, Sitlali Medina, Alexandra Ochoa Gonzalez, Jaden Ortiz, Caleb Para, Kiana Purnell, Israel Quero, Hannah Ramirez, Violet Venderos, Ruby Rivera, Alice Rodriguez, Carolina Tarango, Joshua Vasquez, Emiliano Venegas, Miguel Federique, and Genoveva Zuniga. Congratulations again to our Cardinal 75 award winners from the class of 2022. This is a huge number of juniors to make Cardinal 75. If you can keep this up, we will have an absolutely monster senior class at our Cardinal 75 ceremony next year. Well done, folks. Now, speaking of seniors, it is time to move on to the class of 2021. To earn Cardinal 75 as a senior, you need a cumulative GPA of 3.75 over your first seven semesters of high school. We have 70 12th grade students who have made Cardinal 75 their senior year. And of those 70 seniors, 23 of them have made Cardinal 75 for all four years of high school. In addition to the certificates that all of our Cardinal 75 award winners will receive, our four-year award winners will also receive a medal that can be worn at graduation. And now, without any further ado, it is my pleasure to present the Cardinal 75 winners from the Whittier High School class of 2021. For our senior honorees in Cardinal 75, we asked them to fill out a more detailed brag sheet so we can really share with you all of the things that they've accomplished over their four years at Whittier High School. Our first honoree is Angela Abuzaki. Angela came to us from Lebanon. She was in a Got Talent competition there as a singer, as well as in a poetry contest. Here at Whittier High School, she's been in our chess club. She has volunteered with the Youth Development Organization and also in a math camp in Turkey. She was the student of the month this year in her AP Lit class. She is a CSF member and has participated in our school site council. She currently works at Marshalls and next year she'll be attending Whittier College as a computer science major. Congratulations, Angela. Kathleen Alalane. Kathleen was an academic mentor for one year. She was a senator for two years. She was part of the Puente Club for two years, where she was vice president. She was also part of the Destin Doctors Club, where she was the secretary. In the community, she's volunteered at PIH over 470 hours over at PIH. Um, here at Whittier High School, she's won an academic letter. Uh, she's been on the principal's list. And next year, she will be attending Cal State LA and majoring in nursing. Congratulations, Kathleen. Alexandra Anguiano. Alexandra is a four-year Cardinal 75 honoree. She's been in our JSA for three years. She was the club president for two years. She's been a one-year member of our Color Guard, a full four-year member of our AVID program, and has also been an academic mentor for a year. Out in the community, she's volunteered at Sorensen Library. This year, she received the Welsh Peel Scholarship from the Alumni Association, and she's made the principal's list. She's worked at McDonald's since 2019. 
And next year, you will find her at either UC San Diego, Cal State Fullerton, or San Francisco State to study business. Congratulations, Alexandra. Evelyn Barajas. Evelyn is a four-year Cardinal 75 honoree. Here at Whittier High School, she's been in our environmental club for four years, our film club for three years, the Puente Club for two years, while a four-year member of our Puente program, and a two-year member of our Senators program. Out in the community, she's volunteered at IFC. She won the John Lasseter Scholarship from the Whittier High School Alumni Association. Um, she has made the principals list, and she's won Student of the Month twice this year. After uh, high school, she's going to be going to Rio Hondo, but ultimately wanted to transfer either to Cal State Fullerton or USC to get a bachelor's in computer animation. Congratulations, Evelyn. Ileana Barasa. Ileana was a golfer on our varsity golf team for two years. She was the president of our environmental science club. She was a three-year member of our chess club, a one-year academic mentor, and a four-year member of our AVID program. Out in the community, she's volunteered both with the Girl Scouts and with her church. Some awards and honors that she's won include uh, the Girl Scout Bronze Award, the Girl Scout Silver Award, she's made the principal's list, earned an academic letter, and next year she will be attending UC Santa Cruz and majoring in Ecology and Evolution. Congratulations, Ileana. Kiana Carvajal. Kiana is a four-year Cardinal 75 honoree. She has been a four-year member of our song team, where she has most recently served as captain, a three-year member of our chess club, three-year member of our mock trial program, a three-year member of our photography club, and a four-year member of PTSA. Out in the community, she's volunteered at the Interfaith Food Center. She's also been part of the Heart Club, uh, which is a partnership with Laura's House, uh, which are advocates against domestic violence. In terms of honors and awards, the Alumni Association selected Kiana as the Richard Nixon Scholar for the class of 2021. She also received the Howard P. Allen Scholarship from Edison International. She's been on the principal's list. She is an AP Scholar with honors. And the University of Chicago has named her a Neubauer Scholar. In the workforce, she's been an office assistant at r and Healing Professionals. And next year, Kiana will be attending the University of Chicago as a political science major. Congratulations, Kiana. Sadie Cruz. Sadie is a two-year member of our wrestling team, a one-year member of our softball team, a one-year member of our golf team, and has been part of our Puente program for all four years. She has made the principal's list. She has earned an academic letter. And next year, Sadie plans to attend a community college so that she can explore her options and decide what she would like to do with the rest of her life. Congratulations, Sadie. Brenda Espinosa. Out in the community, Brenda has been involved in her Bible summer camp, and next year, Brenda plans to attend Concordia University in Irvine as a business major. Congratulations, Brenda. Dominique Estrada. Dominique is a three-year member of our JV swim team, a one-year member of our JV water polo team, a one-year member of our chemistry club, and an academic mentor in our biology classes. Out in the community, she's volunteered at PIH for two years, as well as Hadley Preschool for one year. She's made the principal's list, she's earned an academic letter, and she's got some work experience working at Marshalls as a sales associate. Next year, uh, Dominique will be attending Rio Hondo Community College, ultimately wanting to transfer into a Cal State. Congratulations, Dominique. Ruby Fernandez. Ruby is a four-year Cardinal 75 honoree. She is a one-year member of our water polo team. She was in ASB for one year. She was an academic mentor for two years. She was in our JSA club for one year, and she was a senator for one year. Out in the community, she volunteered for a nonprofit organization called New Life Beginnings. She also volunteered at Bell Gardens High School during the summer. She has made the principal's list. She has won an Alumni Association scholarship, and next year, Ruby is going to be attending Cal State Fullerton to pursue a career in business. Congratulations, Ruby. Up next is Evelyn Galvan. Evelyn has been an academic mentor. She was honored this year as a student of the month. She has also earned an academic letter and made the principal's list. And next year, Evelyn is looking forward to attending college. Congratulations, Evelyn. Adon Garcia. 
Adan is a runner. He was in cross country for three years and track and field for four years. In the last two years, he's been the cross country captain. Out in the community, Adan participated in the confirmation program at St. Mary of the Assumption. He's made the principal's list. He's won an academic letter. He won a Whittier High School Alumni Association scholarship, as well as a Hunter scholarship. Out in workforce, Adan has worked in Walgreens. And next year, Adan will be attending Cal State Long Beach. Congratulations, Adan. Isabella Nicole Higante. Isabella is a three-year member of our Color Guard program, as well as an academic mentor for one year. Out in the community, she's volunteered at a local food pantry. This year, she uh, earned an AP Scholar Award and was a finalist in the Questbridge National Scholarship Match. She has worked as a private tutor, and next year, she will be attending Rio Hondo College, working on a kinesiology program. Congratulations to Isabella. Alam Gomez. Alam is a four-year Cardinal 75 honoree. Alam is a runner, been working with our cross-country program for the last three years, and Alam has spent a lot of time in the Vic Lopez Auditorium as a member of ATC. Congratulations, Alam. Giselle Emocio. Giselle is a two-year academic mentor, a two-year member of our Senator program, four years in our Puente program, and four years as part of our soccer program. She has won the Cesar Chavez Award for two years, and next year, Yisel will be attending Cal State Long Beach. Congratulations, Yisel. Next up is Gabriel Olguin. Gabriel has uh, spent a year in a cooking class. He attended Sadie Hawkins. Out in the community, he has been very involved with his family and his church. He has made the principal's list, Congratulations, Gabriel. Alexander Jimenez. Alexander is also a runner, two years with cross country and two years with track and field. Out in the community, he participated with a program called Sober International and also worked as a math tutor. In terms of awards and honors, he won a presidential scholarship. He won a commitment award to track and field and he's been honored by the AVID program. And next year, Alexander is looking to enter the workforce so that he can save up some money and eventually go to college. Congratulations, Alexander. Johnny Kukorian. Johnny has been involved here in theater as an academic mentor, as a member of ASB, as a senator, and part of our Puente Club. Out in the community, Johnny has uh, volunteered with the Sunny Hills Church of Christ, the Interfaith Food Center, Broadway Elementary, Friday Night Live, and the Stage Light Performing Arts Organization. He has earned an academic letter, an Alumni Association Scholarship, and made the principals list. In the workforce, Johnny has had the opportunity to work at Jersey Mike's, and next year, Johnny will be attending UC San Diego. Congratulations, Johnny. Jack Lukeen. Jack is a four-year Cardinal 75 honoree. For four years, he's been part of our Carter Brigade Marching Band Program, where he served as the brass captain both last year and this year. He was an indoor wind soloist for two years and on the indoor drum line for one year. He also made the District Honor Band for one year. Out in the community, he volunteered at Cantwell Sacred Heart. Um, he's earned the Principal's List, an academic letter, a Leonard Bernstein Musicianship Award, and a John Philip Sousa Award. Next year, Jack will be attending UC Berkeley, where he will be double majoring in music and electrical engineering. Congratulations, Jack. Alyssa Madrigal. Alyssa is a four-year Cardinal 75 honoree. She has been a football manager for four years, an academic mentor for two years, and a senator for two years. She's been a volunteer at the Puente Hills Mall. She's also uh, volunteered with the SoCal Radio Nations Booster Club, and she's been a math tutor. She has earned the principal's list, an academic letter, a cardinal with class recognition, and is an AP scholar. And next year, Alyssa will be attending UC Berkeley. Congratulations, Alyssa. Cynthia Marin. Cynthia has been in our AVID program. She is a one-year academic mentor. She was one of the ASB video techs for a year, part of our Friday Night Life Club for two years, and a four-year member of our Puente program. 
Out in the community, Cynthia has volunteered at Orange Grove Elementary School. She's done some community service at Sorensen Library. Um, and she's participated in the Whittier Community Center play. She has earned the principal's list. She is the winner of an Alumni Association scholarship. She earned an academic letter and a seal of biliteracy. After high school, Cynthia will be attending Cal Poly Pomona with hopes to eventually transfer to UC Irvine to complete her uh, studies in criminology and criminal justice. Congratulations, Cynthia. Samantha Marin. Samantha is a four-year member of our Puente program, where she served as the senior representative of the Puente Club for the last year. She is a one-year member of our Senators program, a two-year member of our Academic Mentor program, a four-year member of our PTSA, where her senior year, she served as the PTSA Reflections Chair. Out in the community, she's volunteered at a summer reading club at Whittier Public Library, and she's volunteered at Evergreen Elementary School, and she's volunteered as a tutor at the family daycare. Um, she has earned a principal's list honor, an academic letter, and she has had perfect attendance since kindergarten. Next year, Samantha plans to attend Rio Hondo and then ultimately transfer to USC, majoring in communications. Congratulations, Samantha. David McCusker. David has been an academic mentor for two years, and this is his second time earning Cardinal 75. David is ultimately looking forward to going to college and ultimately owning his own business. Congratulations, David. Vanessa Milano. Vanessa is a one-year member of our tennis program. She earned an academic letter, an award of excellence, a girls tennis CIF award, and made the principals list. Next year, Vanessa will be attending Cal State Fullerton. Congratulations, Vanessa. Narek Minasov. Narek has been an academic mentor. He has volunteered in the community at Amigo Park. He has made the principal's list. He has worked at Smart and Final as well as at the Boys and Girls Club of Whittier. And he will be attending UC Davis next year. Congratulations, Narek. Carlos Montes. Carlos is a four-year member of our Carter Brigade Marching Band Program, a four-year member of our Puente Program, a two-year academic mentor, out in the community, he has volunteered with an independent music program, uh, as well as a golf program. He has been honored with an academic letter and the principal's list. He has some work experience as a sales representative. And ultimately next year, Carlos will be attending Cal Poly San Luis Obispo, where he will be majoring in architecture. Congratulations, Carlos. Jacqueline Padilla. Jacqueline is a four-year Cardinal 75 honoree. She's played in our basketball program for all four years. She's a two-year member of our chemistry club. She is a four-year member of our AVID program. Out in the community, she's volunteered at the Assistance League of Whittier Thrift Shop, as well as volunteered with the Victory Taekwondo Center. She has earned an academic letter. She has made the principal's list. She has received an Alumni Association scholarship um, she's worked at a subway and next year she will be attending UCLA as a biochemistry major. Congratulations, Jacqueline. Mariana Patino. Mariana is a two-year volleyball player, a three-year academic mentor, and a four-year member of our Puente program. Out in the community, she's volunteered at a local library. She's made the principal's list. She's won an academic letter. She received an Alumni Association Scholarship and a Cardinals with Class Award. After high school, she will be attending Cal State Long Beach and majoring in communications. Congratulations, Mariana. Ashley Pedraza. Ashley is a four-year Cardinal 75 honoree. Ashley is a three-year member in our aquatics program with both water polo and swim. She is a two-year academic mentor, a two-year senator, and she has spent three years in our Cardinal Computer Academy. She has earned an academic letter. She's made the principal's list. She won an Alumni Association Scholarship. And next year, Ashley will be attending Cal State LA, the Honors Program for Biochemistry. Congratulations, Ashley. Ashley Perdomo. 
Ashley is a four-year Cardinal 75 honoree. She has been an academic mentor. She's also worked as a paid tutor in our after-school Cardinal Wings tutoring program. She's served in our Destin Doctors Club as vice president. She's also been a member of the Cardinal Consciousness Club and the Puente Club. In the community, she has volunteered at Dexter Middle School. Uh, she's also started a, a social media platform called Voices of Women, which is something that is still active on Instagram. She's made the principals list. She was the winner of the Board of Trustees Award this year for Whittier High School. She won an Alumni Association scholarship. After high school, Ashley will be attending La Sierra University and majoring in public health and pre-dentistry. Congratulations, Ashley. Nicholas Ramirez. Nicholas is a four-year Cardinal 75 honoree. He spent two years in our academic mentor program and was a TA for a year. He was the student of the month in physics and in government econ. He was also the mentor of the month in our parallel math classes. He won a John Greenleaf Whittier scholarship. And next year, Nicholas will be attending Whittier College. Congratulations, Nicholas. Kaylee Reyes. Kaylee is a four-year Cardinal 75 honoree. She is a four-year member of her AVID program. She was in ASB for one year, a swimmer for four years, she played golf for four years, and was part of our water polo team for one year. Out in the community, she volunteered at Sorensen Library, and she's helped with classroom setups at Miles Avenue and Middleton Elementary Schools. She's made the principal's list. She's earned an academic letter. She was the captain for both swimming and golf, and next year, Kaylee will be attending Boston University and working on a physical therapy program. Congratulations, Kaylee. Elizabeth Rodriguez. Elizabeth was a two-year member of our tennis team and captain her senior year. ASB for one year, two-year academic mentors, one year in senators, and one year in soccers. She in the community has volunteered with an organization called Hope Worldwide while also choreographing dances for quinceañeras. She won an Alumni Association scholarship. She has actually her own business selling handmade jewelry and will be attending Cal State Fullerton after she graduates. Congratulations, Elizabeth. Jose Rodriguez. Jose is a four-year Cardinal 75 honoree. He was an academic mentor for two years, a four-year member of our Puente program a two-year member of our water polo team, a two-year member of our swim team, and one year in ASB. He has spent two years volunteering at PIH. He has made the principals list. He is the winner of the Vic Lopez Scholarship from our Alumni Association. He received the Puente Statewide Leadership and Achievement Award, as well as being named Student of the Month and earning an academic letter. Jose has worked at Target, and after his time at Whittier High School, Jose will be attending USC majoring into human biology, and ultimately looking to go into medical school. Congratulations, Jose. Camilla Romo. Camilla is a four-year Cardinal 75 honoree. She was an academic mentor for one year. She served on ASB for one year. She was part of our Friday Night Live Club for a year, and she also played on our JV soccer team for one year. She has been a volunteer at PIH Hospital. She's made the principal list earned an academic letter, and after she graduates from Whittier High School, she will be attending UC Davis and majoring in human biology. Congratulations, Camilla. Brianna Ruiz. Brianna is a three-year member of our Senator program. She is an academic mentor for two years. She spent one year with ASB, one year with our AVID program, and one year as part of the Whittier High School Gardening Club. She has earned an academic letter. She has made the principals list. She has been named Student of the Month, and next year you will find her at either Cal State Fullerton, Cal Poly Pomona, or Cal State LA. Congratulations, Brianna. Kenneth Salazar. Kenneth is a four-year member of our Cardinal Brigade Marching Brand, also a three-year member of our stage crew, and one year as an academic mentor. He has earned the Cardinal 75 achievement for three years and has been a paid member of ATC. And next year, after he graduates, Kenneth will be attending UC Davis. Congratulations, Kenneth. Roman Salgado. Roman was an academic mentor for one year. Roman was a four-year member of our AVID program. He made the principals list for two straight years, 
And after he graduates, Roman will attend Rio Hondo College. Congratulations, Roman. Daniela Silva. Daniela is a three-year member of our theater company, uh, a two-year member of our dance program, one year as an academic mentor, one year as part of Friday Night Live, and one year as part of our photography club. Out in the community, she's volunteered with the Montebello Girls Softball League and with the National Society of High School Scholars. She received a certificate of appreciation for her work from the theater company, and next year, Daniela will be attending Cal State Fullerton. Congratulations, Daniela. Madison Tavera. Madison is a three-year varsity girls basketball player, two years as a captain. She is a three-year varsity girls softball player. She has been an academic mentor for one year. She has made the principals list. She's earned an academic letter. And next year, she will be attending the University of St. Mary's in Kansas on an athletic scholarship for softball as well as on an academic scholarship. Congratulations, Madison. Anthony A.J. Vasquez. A.J. is a four-year football player, three years with track and field, two years on ASB, and four years on class council. Out in the community, A.J. has coached youth football for the Whittier Youth Football Organization, and he's volunteered at the Shelter's Right Hand Thrift Shop. A.J. has earned the academic letter has made the principal's list, was first team all league in football. He's got some work experience as a file clerk in a law firm. And next year, AJ will be attending and playing football at Knox College in Illinois. Congratulations, AJ. Jeremiah Viescus. Jeremiah is a four-year basketball player for Whittier High School. Jeremiah has earned an academic letter, and this is his second time making Cardinal 75. Next year, Jeremiah plans to attend Rio Hondo and ultimately transfer to a four-year university. Congratulations, Jeremiah. George Zuniga. George is a three-year soccer player and a three-year volleyball player. He has worked in the community doing community service at the Puente Hills Mall. He has made the principal's list and earned an academic letter. And after high school, George will be attending Cal State LA with a pre-nursing major. Congratulations, George. Not all of our senior Cardinal 75 honorees were able to submit a picture for this video, but we still wanna recognize them for their accomplishments. Carolina Baeza, Jocelyn Betancourt, Christopher Contreras, Kevin Contreras, Joel Diaz, Derek Reese Fantoli Pascal, Ariana Garcia, Camilla Gonzalez, Paris Grundy, Amanda Guevara, Leon Hernandez, Samantha Leon, Christian Lopez, Natalie Martinez, Christian Miranda, Christina Miranda, George O'Connor Miranda, George O'Connor, Jazalyn Perez, Javier Pinedo, Christopher Rangel, Lana Rivera, Raven Robledo, Emily Salazar, Alejandra Santiago, Jose Tejeda, Cesar Torres, and Emily Torres. Congratulations again to the Cardinal 75 winners from the class of 2021. You have been a tremendous senior class, and we are looking forward to celebrating your graduation on June 2nd at 5 p.m at Torres Stadium. And congratulations again to all of our honorees. Your academic achievement would be extraordinary under any circumstances, but to get the grades you've earned during a pandemic demonstrates next level dedication and effort. I am very proud of all of you. So this concludes our Cardinal 75 awards video. Thank you so much for tuning in to celebrate our highest achieving students. Thanks again to the Whittier High School PTSA for their support of Cardinal 75. Students, you will be notified when and how you can pick up your certificates and or your medals for Cardinal 75. I hope that everyone is staying safe and healthy, and I hope that a year from now, we'll be able to do this ceremony in person in the Vic Lopez Auditorium once again. Take care, everyone.